everyone, it's me, Nikki, here with another segment of What Would Nikki Do? Today, we're going to help out our girlfriend, Shannon. And Shannon comes to us all the way from San Francisco, California. And she wants help with entryway decor. And she wants to incorporate a little bit of bling. So let's jump in and help her. Okay, Shannon, you know I'm a bling girl too. I love bling also. So I'm going to kind of take you in my entryway here and show you kind of the aspects that I incorporate in my decor. You know, bling is not for everyone. They don't, you know, some people like more of a country feel. Some people like more of a contemporary feel that's kind of clean line. You know, but you know, I like... Um, a little sparkle in my home. It makes me happy and it's just what fits me. And since you and I have the same kind of taste, I'm going to show you some things that, you know, I look at when putting my entryway together in hopes that it may help you kind of um, with your project of getting yours together. So let's jump in. Now, the first thing that I want to share with you is mirrored furniture. Now, I'm a big fan of mirrored furniture. And if you're into bling, you're probably more so like mirrored furniture also. Now, it is not kid friendly. So if you have a lot of kids or things like that, I, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But, um, you know, for you know if you're single or anything like that definitely now the downfall with mirrored furniture is it can be quite expensive and so what you can do is if you don't want to um you know have the expense of mirrored furniture incorporated into your accessories such as like this mirrored lamp I have here that I got from Tuesday morning and it, it's made from mirrors and so it gives that mirrored and that blinged effect but if you notice I have it on this white table here and so it still brings and gives me that sparkle and that's something that you can do on your entryway table like get a table something like this here that maybe incorporates a little bit of glass in it and this is actually an old table that I've had and I painted it an ivory color I refinished the um, wood part it was a darker wood and I refinished it in an ivory color because I tend to like light colors and uh, shine and sparkle and silver. Those are the things I like in my home. And so I kind of put the accessories like this that I kind of get from Ross and things for, you know, three and four and five dollars. And so, you know, that's one way. Now, another thing I would incorporate is I, I kind of flanked out my entryway area with these two stands here to kind of define this space as an entryway. And what I had was these topiaries that I've had for about 20 years now, and I really need to upgrade to something different. But um, I got these little pots here from Ross for four four dollars each. I got two of them because of each for each side of the entryway, and then I glued them to these these tall candlesticks that I get for like probably three or four dollars at Ross or somewhere, and made a tall plant stand and sat them in my entryway just to kind of define that area and kind of just kind of jazz up kind of how you walk into my living room there and then with a lot of bling you have to be careful because you can over bling I want to say do overdose on it so I tend and you'll notice in my house I have like tend to have a lot of linen lampshades so I'll have a silver um, lamp but I always tend to put a linen lampshade because linen to me softens up the look and it warms up a lot of that silver and mirror and things like that so that's one thing I would recommend if you do go with a lot of silver and then also with candles I would somehow on your entryway table incorporate candles because that would be great to bring in that warmth I love having those candles and as you can see I'm, I'm trying to replace them I light them all the time but I love having uh, lit candles as you come into my home I think it's welcoming and warming and another thing is chandelier if you could find a gorgeous blinged out chandelier to put in your entryway and replace that standard grade um, entryway light with a beautiful light fixture it would do wonders I am still on the hunt for a beautiful one for my entryway this is actually in my office but I want one in my entryway that's just gorgeous but it can be kind of expensive because my ceilings are high and so I haven't found anything in my price range that I wanted and another thing is when you do a lot of bling incorporate a lot of greens and um, some touches of brown in there to warm up the space because if you just have all silver and all mirror I think for me it's too kind of cold looking I that's why I have the linen lampshades the greenery and some touches of brown and I find bringing those three aspects together kind of helps me warm up the space but still give me that sparkle that I need so Shannon I hope that you could find these quick tips helpful I wish you so much luck with your entryway if any of your out there have any issues that you want to share with me and see what I think about it you can go to my website www.athomewithnikki.com on my what would Nikki do page and I love helping with anything with home organization home decor home management crafting home entertaining anything like that so definitely write in I hope you have a beautiful day and thank you all for tuning in and this is Nikki saying goodbye